thank you so much for clicking on this video this is meek and today i'm going to be showing you how to open your logic pro x projects in logic pro for ipad so the project that you made on your desktop macbook you know of any sort how to open them on your ipad i'm making this video because it is of course very important and you've probably ran into some issues and you want to know how to fix it i want to first say this also if you have used instruments that are from like a third party from like contact if you try to open them on um, logic pro for ipad is going to say it's not found so i'm going to be showing you how to open up the projects that you made using all of Logic Pro X sounds, okay? You can convert those easily to Logic Pro for iPad. Other than that, you gotta bounce everything to audio and just drag in the stems like that. Or you can convert, like say if you made a piano chord progression and you made it using a contact instrument or something like that, you just have to convert that instrument to a Logic Pro X stock instrument to continue to edit it on your iPad. So make sure you do that, okay? Also, if you're project has any of the following features they cannot be opened in logic pro for ipad so check these out if your project has something like surround sound just modify it to not be surround sound anymore so let's get into it the first thing i'm doing is air dropping my project to my ipad this is from i am a music mogul okay check out his website and download some of his free remakes they are good to work on so it's on here all right, let's double click it and it's gonna decompress the files. Let's open the files. All right, here's the Logic Pro project. Let's open it. This project cannot be opened since only bundled projects are allowed. Okay, so that means we have to consolidate this project in order to be able to work on it in Logic Pro for iPad. So let's do that. This has to be done on your MacBook or your desktop. Okay, so I'm just gonna open a project and I have it saved to my iCloud drive. All right, and I'm gonna open it up. All right, now here is the project. I suggest saving a copy of your original project to modify it for Logic Pro for iPad. Okay, so this way you don't mess with your main project at all. So that's what I'm gonna do, save copy as. Modified for iPad is what I'm going to call the copy of the main project. I'm going to save this project to my iCloud drive where it gives me easy access to this project on my iPad. I suggest you do the same. I'm going to check include Apple Sound Library content just in case any of these things are in this project. Okay. And these also work with Logic Pro for iPad, so just do that, just in case. Save. All right, now let's close the main one out to work on our copied project. So I saved it on my iCloud drive, so I'm going to just go to the iCloud drive and just open up the project. Here it is. So the next thing we're going to do is consolidate the file by going to Project Management, Consolidate. All right, it's pretty simple. Make sure you have all of these boxes checked, okay? All right, and consolidation is quick and easy. It doesn't run a scan or anything, so it's consolidated like this. It may show the spinning wheel sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't. So the next thing we're going to do is save the project as a package. Okay, so let's go to Files and Save As. And I'm going to save it to my iCloud Drive. And then where it says Organize My Project As, we're going to press Package. Okay, and where it says Copy the Following File to Your Project, as well, you want to make sure you have all of those boxes checked, just in case any of these types of instruments are in there, and save it. Right, and it's saving. So now let's close out of this project and we're going to find our project on our iCloud drive. And as you can see, this is modified for the iPad. So I'm going to just airdrop it to my iPad. All right, and we're sending it. It's sent. After it's been sent, it's going to automatically just open up Logic Pro. And now you can see the project is here. So we're going to open that up. 
All right, and there you have it. It can now be opened and further expounded upon. You can now edit, do whatever you want. And the cool thing about this is that it copies all of your settings to the plugins that you use. As you can see here, some of the plugins are not available. That's because they are not AUV. And if they are, I don't have them on my iPad. So they're giving that triangle. So yeah, as you can see, all of the plugins made it. And if they were turned off, they're off. And I just think it's really cool to see it on the iPad. It's also cool to see that if you used a pattern region, it copied a pattern region. If you use a MIDI region, it copied the MIDI region. And it's in the same format that you use in Logic Pro X for desktops and MacBooks. But that is how you do this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps you. My name is Meek. Subscribe to my channel.